So the first question is going to be like uh, here I'm going to talk about the hard questions and you can see that there are they have given a graph with the enzymes and um, how the rate of digestion change and they're asking about pH 1 and pH 2.5 at pH 1 you can see the rate is low and the pH 2.5 pH the rate is maximum because it is optimum pH for the yeah, actually at the optimum pH substrate and enzyme complex form at highest rate because the shape of the active site perfectly match with the substrate at this pH. In here you can also talk about the other way that you can think it is pH at this pH the enzyme is going to change it's going to be in nature and then the active site will change and then the active site change the, the shape because the substrate will not no longer will be able to connect with the enzymes. So here the marking is changed. In this question, diagram show appearance of a red blood cell. You know, uh, <coughs> we have to compare, describe the how the structure of cell different from the structure of white blood cell. So white blood cell they have some have nucleus with the lobe nucleus. So they are called phagocytes. And other white blood cells they have a spherical nucleus and they are called lymphocytes. So I am coloring the nucleus here. So now uh, when we talk about the red cell, red cell don't have a nucleus. So white cell have a nucleus. And red cell you can see that the red cell have a biconcave shape because it's from it's like have a dimple. And uh, and when you talk about another feature of the white compared with white and red cell. The red cells are small in size compared with the white cells. Okay, a student investigate the effect of different solution of a red blood cell. Here there are a tube A contain water, tube B contain same as the plasma. Tube C contain concentrated salt solution. So then he placed this uh, in, uh, keep it for about five minutes and he's going to observe the cells. Here, when he going to observe the cell, he see that uh, no cells in tube B. Why do you think? What happens to the red cells in this? That they ask him. Explain why the student does not see any cell in this sample. So you know that. When there is a red cell in a water, water will diffuse into the red cell through the semi permeable membrane of the red cell. So when it diffuses into the red cell due to the semi uh, through the semi permeable membrane we call osmosis. So due to osmosis, it's water filled into the red blood cell that create pressure inside the cell and burst the red cell. So therefore no red cells in the solution A. Okay, this question is about anaerobic respiration. You know that in anaerobic respiration we need to we use oil layer to prevent entering of oxygen when uh, even we put an oxygen oil layer into top of the glucose solution still there can be some oxygen dissolved in it so to remove that we have to boil it then when you boil you can't add yeast into it because the, the temperature is high therefore you have to cool it before you add the yeast into the solution. So they are asking about that. Explain why the student boils and cool the glucose solution before the yeast is added. 
So now you know the reason why we have to boil it to remove the gas. And even when you boil that, uh, if there's a microorganism in it, they will destroy it. Right. So then after that you cool it to make the make sure the temperature is suitable for the yeast. Question 4. The student uh, measures the rate of anaerobic respiration by counting the number of gas flows produced in a minute. Explain she could modify this apparatus to obtain accurate terms. So here what you can, uh, she can do is she can use gas syringe. When she uses gas syringe, she can measure the volume of gas. Remember, don't say amount of gas. Remember that to say the volume. Because she measures the volume in cubic centimeters. Six in this uh, when you talk about evolution here there are two al one uh, two one two giraffes one is albino giraffe and the other one is normal colored one explain why there are only few giraffes with the white fur in the wild the reason is the white color is more visible when they are living in the their environment so therefore they were killed by the Predators. So when they kill bright predators, they usually don't go, become adult. So therefore, they have less chance of reproducing. When they have less chance of reproducing, they can't continue their color because that color, the color is uh, allele respons responsible for the this color will not transfer into the next generation. So the other reasons you have to list in this question. Many farmers keep their chicken in shade. They claim their chickens grow larger when they are keep shade rather than the outside of the field. So design and illustrate test the claim. So here this is six mark question. So follow this Combs rule C O R and M M and S. So what is Combs stand for? C for the control, O for the organism, R for the repeat repetition. M for the measurement, and the second M also for the measurement. And the last S one for the same. Same. What are the th things you have to keep same in the ex during the experiment? So here uh, we need to check the whether the chicken become grow larger in shade or outside. So you need to select two areas. Two areas with the same size area. One is in shade and the other one is in outside. So then uh, so what are the things you need to control here? You have to take same number of chicken. For example, think you take 50 chicken, the same mass and uh, the same age chicken and you are going to put 
they should be should have they should be the same uh, breed then you keep the two areas and uh, what you are going to do is you are going to measure the mass of average mass of the chicken after one month so during this period you have to provide same amount of food and same amount of water for the both groups making them same so what is same there is you provide same amount of food and same amount of water then after that you can find the average mass of chicken in each group after that you can have you can repeat this experiment again to have more reliable results from doing that you can find higher the average mass is you can say that better the growth of chicken Suggest high respiration rate of small chicken higher than the respiration rate of a large chicken. So here, before I talk about, I'm going to talk about area and volume of one centimeter cube and two centimeter cube. So here, area or one side is you know area is. Length into breadth, so therefore one centimeter into one centimeter is one centimeter squared. So when you multiply it by six, you get six square centimeters. Then if I calculate the volume, volume equals length into breadth into height here, one into one into one, one cubic centimeters. And here, area of one side is two into two is four. Four times six, there are six faces. Four times six is twenty-four. So area equals twenty-four. And the volume of this equals length into breadth into height. Two into two into two is eight centimeter cubic centimeters. So then if I take area to volume ratio here is 6 is to 1. Here 3 is to 1. So what you can see here when the size, when the volume increase related to the volume, the area is not increasing much. So a small object they have higher volume. So in uh, when we come to the our answer. answer for this question, the small chicken, they have a small body, so but their area to the volume is high. Therefore, they lose their body temperature rapidly than the large chicken. To maintain their body temperature at constant level, they have to do the respiration faster. To do the why because respiration produces heat energy. To maintain their body temperature, the small chicken respirate fast. That is the answer. Little bit bigger question here. The person keeps small fish in a glass container called aquarium and the aquarium show the aquarium. He follows the step to keep the fish healthy. Place aquarium near the window, use aerator to one hour each day, set a rate of large bubbles, feed fish several times a day, large amount of food, change the water in aquarium every four days. He measure the change in oxygen concentration in aquarium water over a period of four days. The graph shows these changes in oxygen concentration. So they have given concentration and timing hours. The person claim he keeps his fish good condition. Evaluate his claim. His claim. So this is again six mark question. So to score the full marks, you can say whether these what his steps. 
whether how it's important to keep the fish live or how bad is it is. So here place the aquarium near to the window. When you keep the player near to the window, some more sunlight falls onto the tank. So therefore the plants can produce uh, do the photosynthesis and produce more oxygen and reduce carbon dioxide in the water. So that is good for the plant. Another bad effect of the keeping a tank is close to the window is more algae will grow. So then the even the daytime they produce oxygen in the night they produce more carbon dioxide that is not good for the fish. And uh, use the aerator for the one hour for each day. Aerator usually we use for a whole day. By by keeping a one day the fish will get less amount of oxygen. And he is using pumping a large bubble. When he pumps large bubble that is not good because that uh, when the volume increase in the bubble so they have a lesser area as I mentioned in the early question. So they have more amount of oxygen dissolving less. Feed the fish several times a day is a large amount is good. Okay food is good. Food is necessary for fish to grow and they provide energy but putting excess fish food will collect at the bottom of the fish that create more microorganisms to act in water. So therefore that demand for the oxygen will increase and also the poisonous substance form in the water. He changed the water tank every four days so that is a good thing because he putting a new water. But there's but again there is another bad effect of changing the water because the fish have to adapt to new environment every four days. So this is not the good way to keep a fish tank. I think uh, you can write a few points regarding regarding the questions or uh, ask, ask the answer so this is good or bad because you have to evaluate the person's claim. Thank you.